our second feature match for Emulet Titan here. Uh, our anonymous player is going to be up against Yella, our resident judge, playing a Rakdos midrange deck. Looks like Yella is going to start off with a basic swamp and an Inquisition of Kozilek. Uh, our time play revealing a pretty good hand here. Now, for this week, we were supposed to have Event Link, but it didn't happen. So I picked two, uh, two of our best players for the evening, gave them both two feature matches. Uh, hopefully next week we will be able to use Event Link again, which means we can use uh, we can we can do a Swiss tournament again. We've been playing Round Robin for the past few weeks, which should allow us to make a lot more varied coverage. But I know there's there's going to be people that are. They're going to want four Amulet Titan rounds in a turn, of course. But I, I try to cater to as, as many people as I can. Uh, variety is the spice of life. That's almost become a creed that I live by. So I want the most varied content we can actually get. Now, Yella here playing a Douthy Voidwalker. One of the new Modern Horizons cards. It's a... 3-2 for 2 black mana. It has Shadow, which means it can only be blocked by creatures with Shadow. There are not a lot of those in Modern right now, so it's pretty much a 2 mana 3-2 that's unblockable. On top of that, any card that would be put into an opponent's graveyard will instead be exiled with a Void Counter on it. And then you can tap it suck it to choose one of the exiled cards and then play it this turn without paying its mana cost. Yeah, because that thing wasn't pushed enough already. I have no idea what they were thinking with that card. And like, you might hear people complaining about how Ursa Saga is, is too strong and it's, it's everywhere. No, this card, this, this uh, Delphi Voidwalker, is, in my opinion, one of the most broken cards in the set. I think it's, it's better than Ursa Saga. Now, I know that's, that's a hell of a claim to make, and maybe history will tell us that that was not the case, but regardless, it is still a unblockable 3-2. That then hates on your graveyard and possibly plays your payoffs. Sure. We have Liliana coming out here from Yella. Uh, gonna discard a Lightning Bolt and our Titan player discards uh, a Reclamation Sage. Which might potentially come to bite them in the ass. <laughs> just um, maybe not like do you want to get rid of your of your unblockable 3-2 to get rid of an amulet of vigor like the, the fact that you get a free reclamation sage and it's actually a suboptimal line just just screams to me that this guard is too strong but anyway For uh, the rest of this evening, we're going to have two matches of a legacy staple deck in uh, Dead Guy Ale. Now, for those of you who have no idea what Dead Guy Ale actually means, it is a black-white Stoneforge Mystic deck uh, that just plays a bunch of the, the good black and white cards. Now, usually there aren't a lot of good White cards, uh, the exception, of course, being things like Stoneforge Mystic and Skyclave Apparition. And, but on the black side, you have 
plenty of cards. You get things like uh, Liliana, of course. You get things like Dark Confidant. You got, uh, uh, Fatal Push. Just all the all the good value cards in black and white. So we'll have two rounds of that after this one. Be on the lookout for that. Then for Legacy, we're looking at two rounds of uh, Abzan Maverick, followed by two rounds of Lance. So that should be fairly interesting as well. Be on the lookout for that. We have another one of those Modern Horizons 2 cards coming out in Ragavan. Looks like the card was dashed. Uh, now, Ragavan, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a, ma a one mana 2 1, but it has a dash cost of a 1 and a red. A dash being that you, you play it, it has haste, but then goes back to your hand at the end of the turn. And when it deals combat damage to a player, you not only get a treasure, but you can exile the top card of your opponent's library and actually play that card this turn. No, sorry, cast it. So land, land goes into exile and just stays there. But any kind of spell, you can try and cast. Now, it doesn't have mana fixing. That's worth noting. So you need to actually use the treasure in case you don't have the color requirements for a card. But honestly, the card is so good that it doesn't really matter. We also have a... Rick Smoddy Reveler coming out. Uh, that's a bit of an old card. Let me look that up real fast. Uh, I mean, old. It's it's two years at this point. It was from the new Ravnica block. Uh, it's a two mana two two. When it enters the battlefield, you discard a card, then draw a card. But it has an alternative spectacle cost. Where you cast it for two, a red and a black. And when you do it that way, you just you dump your hand and draw three cards. That's pretty good. Spectacle is not hard to turn on. Just do a bit of damage. You have a, an unblockable 3-2. You have Ragavan. Just put Ragavan on the board. Play the, the Reveler and then Ragavan goes back to your hand. It's It's... Insane value here. And like our our Titan player is already on life support here, and the Rectos player hasn't even played a Blood Moon yet. And of course, there's no guarantee that there is actually a Blood Moon there, but I mean let's be honest. <laughs> let's let's be entirely honest. This is a Raptor's mid-range deck. Why would you not? It's possible they're not the main. They could be in the side. Now, some of these lists play uh, Lurus as a companion. It doesn't look like Yella has it, so I would imagine that Yella is indeed playing Blood Moon. It's kind of one or the other. And... While Amulet Titan is definitely definitely not a matchup where you would expect a lot of removal, I wonder how the deck performs against removal-heavy decks. You know, something like Path to Exile, of course, is gonna deny your lures. I th I think there is a world where Blood Moon is just straight up better. I think there's a world where Blood Moon is something you would rather play than Lurus. It would seem Yella agrees with me on this. Because we're not seeing Lurus. But, yeah. Of course, this is still relatively new into the, into the Modern Horizons 2 format. So, we're gonna have to wait and see how it settles, but... It is starting to settle, that is worth noting. And it it is still looking like Amulet Titan is top dog. And if that's the case, 
then Blood Moon is going to be very important. More important than having a Lurus to keep giving you threats. Uh, worst case scenario, you could probably consider a, a main deck Lurus. Like, don't play it as a companion, just put it in your deck as a, a one or two of, and when you play it, it's, it's just suddenly value. But I don't think it's it's an absolute requirement. I'm not sure what Yella just revealed here, but oh, I th I think the Liliana was gonna get rid of a blocker and then just overwhelm our Titan players' defenses. So yeah, on to game two. So for game two, we have. Our Titan player on a mulligan to 5, and our our Vectos player on a mulligan to 6. That's that's what you like to see. It's just straight mulliganing down. You know, it it's starting to feel like when I pick a player to, to play several rounds on coverage, they're just instantly doomed to face the worst possible matchups. I mean... We put a Titan player, it's just all Blood Moons. We put, uh, we put a Control player, it's all aggro. We got Death Shadow, it's just three rounds of, of, of removal. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what's happening there, but... You know, it happens, it happens. Got a, a, a quick thought seize here, taking our... our Titan player down even more cards. We got a Voidwalker coming down. Turn two. Just looking really solid. And unfortunately, our, our Amulet Titan player just not having the, the greatest of evenings. That is a Dismember coming out here. Gonna get rid of the Voidwalker. That's probably... Uh, uh, a, a fairly decent dismember there. Now, interesting bit of sequencing there. Uh, I mean, not 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 sequencing, but as in how how these two cards interact. The dismember doesn't actually destroy it; it turns it into a minus two minus three. So. As you're resolving the Dismember, the Dismember still goes into exile, because the Voidwalker is still in the field. Then when the Dismember has resolved, Walker sees it has no toughness, and then it dies. Which... Just an interesting uh, bit of interaction there. It's, it's always nice to know small little interactions like that. You never know when it's, when it's going to be relevant. Speaking of relevant, we have Blood Moon coming out from Yella here. I mean, I called it. I called it. I, I told you he was going to play Blood Moon. When Amulet Titan is the best deck in the format, and you're playing a deck that can play Blood Moon, yeah. Why would you ever have Lurus as your companion? <laughs> You know? Nah, there are plenty of reasons to still play Lurus, but Blood Moon is definitely a good card. We also have a Bone Crusher Giant coming out from Yella here, uh, which is going to put some, some real pressure on our Titan player here. Titan player is playing an Amulet of Vigor now. Unfortunately, that Amulet is probably not going to have the best of effects here. We have Ragavan coming out, swing for six, take a treasure, and yeah. This, uh, this, this Rectal's deck is definitely looking like it has some, some pretty, pretty solid direct to modern legs to stand on, if you know what, what I mean. Looking in Edible. Now... 
Not sure what our Titan player is. Trying to look up. He is definitely looking up a card, that's for sure. Looks like an artifact. Is he worried about an artifact? Like, what are we looking at here? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, if, if this Bone Crusher Giant and this Ragavan is just unanswered, then... Our Titan player is looking pretty dead. I think I may have taken off a point of damage too much. Let's see, what what are we going to here? Should be six, right? No, uh, eight. Yeah, no, I took off two points too many. Well, Acclamation Sage being hit by the Regavan. Is actually going to cast it, get rid of the Amulet of Vigor, and this, this might be good. Oh, and we have another Void Walker. This, this game is done. Yeah. <laughs> Best deck in the format, not not looking too great here. Oh well, 